So, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the to our business track, our success track. And today, I'm here to talk to you about the real impact of mobility in your enterprise applications. Before we start, do you know what day is today? Yes, it's the day that we were supposed to be flying around and being, of course, dressed really nicely, let's just say. <laughs> it was also, so, of course, back to the future. Now, getting serious, so my name is Ruben Gonçalves. I've been working for all systems since 2009, been in the experts team since 2012, and I have a lot of experience in B2E and B2C mobile applications. I'm currently the head of the mobility experts, so it's the team that works both on the web, in, web side of the application, but also on the native side. And in 30 years, I will be Gandalf look-alike, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> so mobile, it's a huge opportunity. I think that we all know why. However, instead of just telling one of the 2,757 statistics that is out there stating exactly this, we are actually going to create a poll or a statistics right now. So how many of you do not own a smartphone? Nice, zero percent. How many of you use your smartphone for work? Okay, almost 100 percent of people. It makes sense. How many of you would like that your business applications were mobile ready? Yes, common feeling indeed. So during my experience with dealing with all with our customers, I have identified a couple of usage patterns. Patterns that make big enterprises to go mobile. So in this session, we'll try to cover what are these patterns, what were these patterns that I was able to identify, and also try to justify them with example of applications created mainly by our customers. So the first one is actually work outside of the office. So these kind of applications enable the systems to be where the data is generated. So enable the systems to cover the last 20 meters of, of, of the, the gap between the real world and actually where the, typically the data is inserted in the system. And this, of course, enables the system to first be more accurate, more updated, and of course it makes life easier also for employees. And the next usage pattern is location specific. So these kind of applications, they help the user or they help, they enable the system to be smarter and to be more aware time-wise and also location-wise of the user and with that to provide just-in-time information. Another one is to reach people. These kind of applications enable business to run smoother by allowing people to make just-in-time action and to re react in the, in the, on the spot, on the moment. We'll see an example of uh, an insurance company which actually is leveraging, leveraging this mechanism to make their business run smoother and faster, of course. And of course, capture the real world. Because now with the mobile world, we have, different, we have devices with us. We have devices with a lot of capabilities that enable us to actually capture the world as it happens. So it enables them, enable us to capture the world with audio, with video, with a picture. And that actually enables the systems to be faster or enables also the users to be more productive and less prone to error. Now that we have seen what were the typical patterns that, I've, that I was able to identify, let's actually see examples of the applications that actually leverage one or more of these patterns. And these applications are actually applications created with OutSystems platform. So the first one is actually a UK nonprofit. So this UK nonprofit has their employees working typically from home. 
and they have to use their VPN and all of their internal systems. So what they notice is that every time that their VPN would go down, that the system, their systems would not be up and running, their contact center would be overflowed with calls and with emails of people, first of all, reporting the issue, and then, of course, requesting what was the status of the issue. Because in most cases, this was, this was actually not allowing them to work. So they came up with the idea of creating a mobile application that all of their employees would have installed, and it would enable them to, in a really simple and easy way, to report that there was a problem. So this is a B2E application, and I'm going to use a lot of these acronyms. A B2E application is business to employees. So it's typically applications that are distributed only internally in companies. So in this application, the users can, in a very simple way, first of all, report that they have a situation. But before reporting, they can actually see if someone else also has already reported. And if that happened, they can actually just say, okay, I'm also affected by this. So what this application enables this nonprofit to achieve is first, they have instant issue report. So the user has a problem. They don't need to go to the phone and call, and call their contact center that on, after the call will actually get in touch with the help desk and report the issue. What happens is people just can grab on their phone. They are not able to access to the internal systems. So they, the only way to report it is actually through a call, it was before by a phone call or by an email. So they can actually report the issue immediately through the application. They can, as soon as the issue gets solved, all of the users, users that actually reported that they were uh, having that issue will be notified that the issue was uh, solved. And with this, they can actually get instant feedback of the users if the issue was actually solved or not, okay? Because the users are informed, okay, the problem is solved, and the users can just come here and identify, okay, I still can't work, or it's okay now. In terms of business, actual business impact, what they notice is that they had a 95% reduction in the duplicated issues. Because what would happen is that people wouldn't know that someone else had already reported the issue, so they would be just reporting the issue that they had. So it was not something that IT didn't know at the time, uh, already knew at the time. Another thing is that they had an 80% reduction in terms of contacts for their contact center regarding what's the status of the issue. Why? Because now the people can just go to the application and easily see what's the status of the issues that they have reported. And additionally, they have a real-time community impact. So they know how many people are being affected by a specific issue. And with that, of course, raise the importance of that, of solving that specific issue. Another example of a customer who has done this is actually Liberty Seguros. So Liberty Seguros, it's an insurance company in Portugal. And as they mentioned, and actually as Paulo Rosado mentioned yesterday, they were one of those companies that were pushed by the new generation to go mobile. So the story about this application was they are new agents, so they work with independent agents. And there was independent agents, they work with actually several insurance companies selling insurance. And they were complaining that they don't want to be in the office just waiting for the customers to come in for them to sell them an insurance. They want actually to go to their customer's house and to sell another insurance, or they want to go door by door, stating the benefits, doing an exact simulation of how much you would be paying, and on spot, on the moment, they want to be able to sell one. Okay. Another interesting thing that this application enables them to do is actually to, whenever they are confronted with the fact that the client or their new client or their existing client already has a proposal from another insurance company that is better than the one that they are simulating, they can simply take a picture of it and send it to Liberty. What this application enables it to do is by doing that, they can actually get a higher or a discount approved on spot. Okay. So as I was stating, 
The insurance agents can now, now go after their customers. They don't need to be waiting on the office. They just go out. They go to meetings with them outside of the office. They can actually also get approval discount on spot. So let me just tell you how it was before. Before this application, what they would have to do is they would be confronted. They would request the user, OK, can I actually take this to the office, scan it, and send it actually to the contact center of Liberty that then would uh, make that proposal get to the account manager for this agent. And one week later, they would get the discount approved or not. And with this application, the other side is that their account manager immediately receives a notification about who is requesting the discount and to whom, and is able to an analyze if the discount should be approved and how much the discount should be actually given to that specific customer. Additionally, like I was mentioning, it enables them to capture the proposals, but not only that, they are able to sell the insurance right on spot. And that is in that actually is because they are actually able to request the customer to simply sign the form stating that they want the, the, the insurance. In terms of um, business impact, what they have noticed is they have now instant insurance simulation. So before, like I mentioned, it was something that would take longer because they would have to be in the office, on the computer, sometimes the systems would be slower and this actually is something that needed to happen as well. So their insurance, um, their, their simulation engine had to be improved to work with this mobile application. They actually got numbers with this. They noticed that they got better reten retention. So all of those customers that were about to leave to other insurance companies that they had better proposals. I mean, who wouldn't do that? They actually, they were retained because now they would be confronted with a better, even better proposal from Liberty. And that would be right in front of them. And of course, they notice also a uh, slight, but although in the, in the Portuguese market where, where, I mean, it's 10 million people, everyone pretty much has insurance, so it's not growing. So you can either retain your customers or just get new clients from the other companies. So they actually notice this grow in number of customers, which for our market is pretty big, actually. Finally, they do have more agents selling Liberty Insurance. Why? Because the agents now love this application. And it makes their life so easier that they just rather sell uh, Liberty uh, Insurance than any other company. Because the other companies, they still have to go through the all of the process. And this one is instantaneously. Dubai Court. Dubai Court, as the name says, it's a client of ours, and it's an institution that uh, controls or that uh, works with the courts in Dubai. I'm sorry, the name is pretty explicit. So they actually have, they are always thinking about how can they improve the, the relationship between the citizens and the courts. How can they, they make their, the process of the courts run smoother, faster, and so on. So they actually came up with the idea of smart petitions. These petitions, which is aimed for their, for their citizens and for their lawyers in Dubai, uh, helps them to easily submit petitions, so small cases to courts to be solved, and provide all of the documentation, all of the information that it needs to be solved. And this application is actually used also by the judges. And the interesting thing is that the judges based on the documentation, based on the case, they can immediately make a decision uh, on the petition. So this enabled the, lawyer, the lawyers actually to go, instead of being in the office and having to invite the client to come to their office and bring all of the documentations, it enabled them to just go to their client's house and have all of the information there and then submit the petition. It enables also judges to make the decision on spot. And we are going to see that they have actually extraordinary metrics about this. And of course, it captured the documents because of course this is a court, it needs proofs. So it enables them to simply capture either with camera or just scanning the documents, sending to the device and sending through the application. And also it enables them both for the judges 
and for the citizens and for the lawyers to collect all of the necessary signatures. In terms of business impact, what happened is they actually had to re-engineer the whole process that they have on courts, how things work, how the departments talk with each other, how the application actually uh, gets used by the judge. They have to rethought all of this. So this was, uh, they had to do a lot of background work on this. 50% of the petitions that were submitted in the first month were solved electronically through the application. And this was extraordinary. Everyone, when the application actually came out in Dubai, uh, in Dubai, everyone was loving it. They were loving it so much that it was elected the project of the year. So it actually gave them a lot of recognition um, about the work that they are doing and the, this is actually opening, opening them a lot of doors in the government. Another client of ours, which is actually here in our conference and will be presenting later today a really nice um, session as well in the afternoon. Uh, it's a leading Mexican shipping company. So they were aiming to leapfrog the concurrence and leapfrog the way that they deliver the package and also trying to make sure that their customers would have a service like no other. So they actually created an application for their employees, for the people, for the drivers that are on the street delivering the applications that would enable them to really quick and easily get the, uh, get the packages, and we are going to see here the application running, uh, get the packages and deliver, and with that have real-time information of what's happening. And it's really cool because one of the things that they actually uh, did is that they got a specific, uh, very, a very cool device that has a high-speed scanner in, embedded. And they were able actually to do something like this. So whenever they are in the warehouse, you can see that they are actually scanning the packages to be sent. And you can see just the speed that, that actually happened. So in terms of what, of our, of, of any, I'm not sure if you noticed, but here on the bottom, there is uh, all of the patterns and also what the ones that were used here. In this case, they actually now have instant delivery updates. Whenever the package is updated, the person who sent the package is now able to know on, on, in the moment. It actually alerts the drivers when they are getting close to the destination. So you are getting close to this specific package that you are going to deliver. And also, it, it, it's integrated with the high-speed barcode scanner, as I mentioned. Regarding, oh, of course, and capture signature, because when you deliver the package, you do want to prove that the package was delivered to that customer, so they are capture a signature. And something that is really cool and that our, our, our uh, friends at Safet uh, told me about was actually their drivers are now really proud of the application. So whenever they actually deliver um, a package to someone that works for their concurrency or for, for some of their offices, what they actually do is that they are really proud of the application and they just go, okay, now you have to s sign in the, you have to put your signature in this really nice application and this really nice device. And this is really leapfrogging all of the concurrency that doesn't have these kind of features. Because of course, one of the cool things is you no longer need a pen, you no longer need anything, you just can sign with your finger. And it makes things really simple. In terms of business impact, actually I'll leave this to Carlos. Carlos will be in the uh, 1 p.m. session talking about how to accelerating time to market. So be sure to be in his session and to understand what are the business impacts of the whole mobility st strategy of Estafeta. Another example of applications is actually ANA Airport. So ANA is the entity responsible for managing the airports in Portugal. And they actually have created an application for something that is rather useful. And it's pretty scary that they didn't have something like this and that this was based on paper. So this application is for runway inspections. So as you probably imagine, the runways have to be inspected quite a few times per day. And they were actually based on paper before this. So people would go out on the terrain, 
would, before that, would print out an Excel spreadsheet, would go out in the train, try to identify the issues, and mark, try to mark, okay, this should be around this area, kilometer something on the runway, and this kind of issue. And now with this application, what they are able to is first, they are able to instantly report an issue. They found an issue, they report it, they can actually get alerts when they are close by an issue. So this actually avoids the duplication because whenever you are working with paper, what happens is someone gets, uh, finds the issue, puts on paper, will eventually get back to the office and will eventually put the issue on a computer. And what might happen is that someone will actually, might actually report that before that, before them. They are also able to capture the photos or, or the videos. So whenever they find the, the issue, now they are able to get more information of what's the type of issue so that this issue can be prioritized in terms of the runway should be closed or it should be dispatch a team just to fix it on spot. Uh, oops, something that I missed here. Of course, geolocation. They, they no longer need to say, okay, the issue is in this kilometer of the runway. No, they just say the issue is here. And the application records the location of the issue. And with this, they can actually have an overview of the airport and see where the issues are located exactly to the meter. In terms of business impacts, it's very interesting because it's really easier. And this was kind of a side effect. So they were trying to solve, okay, it's, we do have a lot of duplicates and actually it's here, they do have a lot of duplicates and these were the main issue that they were trying to solve. But with this, they also solved the other one, which is they now have real-time uh, alerts about the issues, the issues that were found. And also, it made their employees, the, the personnel that is doing the inspections, to be much faster and to be much uh, accurate when actually going through the checklist. And of course, no paper with all of the benefits that actually that brings. Just another example. So we have been covering a lot of examples that were created with the old systems platform. Uh, but this example is actually from the real world, from out there for some, someone that had uh, built that. And the key message here is that the technology is all around us. But it's not the technology that will make the difference. It's the way that we apply the technology. So we have nowadays these whole high-tech devices that we can leverage and that we can make a difference to our business if we just find the right use case for it. I'm not sure if you know this application. You might. Well, probably many of you got here in this morning with uh, this application. Has anyone never used this application? <laughs> oh, we do have people who never use this application. So but you probably already know Uber. So Uber allows people to get what we can call a taxi or a driver to just take you from one point to the other and you can immediately know how much you'll pay and of course there's no money uh, involved, no money in hand. All is done by the application. So this is how the application looks. And an interesting thing about this application is that regarding our mobile usage patterns, we can see that you can ask for a car anywhere and pretty much anytime. If it's available, if there is a driver, you can get to know, you'll know how much time they'll get to get to you and how much they'll charge or around how much they'll charge to get to your destination. You can get instant location information. As soon as you actually request for a cab or request for a driver, you get to know actually where he is and how long he will take to get you. He also gets that information, exactly where you are and where he needs to pick you up. Actually, it makes communication really easy because using the application now, then if, you get, if the driver gets to the spot that we, you are supposed to, to be and he, if he doesn't find you, he's able to easily enter in, in contact with you and try to understand where you are and if he's in the wrong spot or if you want to cancel or anything. So communication is really easy between drivers and between people who is going to be taken to some, some place. And the coolest part, I'm not sure if you notice, but when you actually um, register to, to the application, 
they are using an external component which is called Cart IO, which I, if you do transactions, I would recommend you that that you probably take a look at it. And this native component is really cool because it just does OCR over your credit card. And actually, let me just go back here a minute, and it's that. So it does OCR to your credit card, and it fills up it, the, all of the information that you need. So in a mobile device, this is highly important to avoid user input, as you probably already know. So moving forward, as you notice, these guys were able to be on all of the mobile usage patterns that I was able to identify so far. But I believe that there might be others. In terms of real business impact, how can we, what can we say about them? So it's completely dis disruptive. They created a market on their own, and they are disrupting the existing marketing com uh, market completely, to the point that actually countries are, um, or taxi co uh, co corporations, for example, in Portugal, they are lobbying the government to not allow Uber because it's so dis disruptive. They cannot compete. Well, they went from zero to four billion in six years. I don't think that I need to say anything else, right? <laughs> so a quick recap. These were the usage patterns that, that uh, I identified. So working outside of the office, location-specific applications, loc uh, applications that will be more aware the, of the user and will help the user where he is on time, on, on the spot. It will enable business to run smoother by making it possible to reach out for people that are important to make decisions. And of course, capture, capture the real world as it happens, in the format that it happens. No longer paper, no longer written, sometimes just a picture, sometimes just a sensor. And these were the applications that we noticed, that we have uh, looked, uh, analyzed, and these were actually the patterns that they are actually covering. And of course, if they are to employees, if they are to business, or if they are to actual customers. Finally, the real business impact, well, first of all, is not to be taken lightly. Because sometimes it's one of those unknown unknowns where you think, OK, this will be the impact. And what you end up figuring out is that the impact was much higher and it will affect your entire organization. So it will, it will enable business to go and to be exactly where business occurs, first of all. It will actually generate new business opportunities as well, and Uber is the perfect example of that. It will also enable real-time action and reaction, something that before was much harder because someone needed to be at a computer. But, well, we do take our phones to the bathroom, so. It's pretty much every time with us, any moment. And of course, it enables engagement. And it actually makes users to be more, even more engagement, engaged. And of course, this generates business by, the, by itself. However, we should be aware of this because this will demand. This will demand from our organization to be more efficient, for our processes to be as efficient as possible. Otherwise, our users will not be happy because it will be the same old same, but now in a device that people are not wanting to wait at all. So today is, today is the day of the future. We were kind of expecting <laughs> to be surfing on the air or to be kind of rather strange outfits. We are definitely not there, but we do have really cool gadgets nowadays. Uh, but we still have rather strange people. So <laughs> let's just say that it is what it is, right? So thank you. <laughs> Questions? Uh, not. <laughs> not yet, not yet. Any more questions? OK, guys, feel free to reach out if you want. There are my contacts. And once again, thank you. <laughs>